it's not easy to reach them when mm. it comes to doing music in the States. Okay. It's not easy to reach them because most of them normally look back to Ghana for the songs that they want to listen to. And the reason why I don't blame them or, you know, when it comes to promotion mm. is because that is what the person also does yeah. to provide. Yeah. But then, you know, sometimes I just feel like, okay, if we're going to pay you to do something, make sure you're doing it. I used to rap. Wow. I used to dance. Then today you do <laughs> those, some of those raps. <laughs> so, you know, music has always Good been a part of me. Even though at that time I didn't know that I was going to be I'm singing gospel. Me da mi nya mi asia, o binti asia. Mi yi mi nya mi aya, o binti asia. Yeah, we see how you see how you see how you Aha, a hype media. Jimmy D and Eddie Bro, a chat with say. Na, Yanko Baya, don't a ne. Menya, you to Nibi, oh, fear. All the way from a Joe Biden crew. A year, America, man. Rita Queen. My mom, Aquab. Aquab. Yeah. This was a good one. Why are you? 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 Why So, uh, you? are welcome to Ghana. Thank you? very much. How has your stay been since you? you came? Mm, it's been hot. Hot? <laughs> I think it's quite better. Really? Oh, yes. Oh, the weather is somehow good nowadays. Oh, okay, mm. but it's been good. I've been enjoying myself, so mm. I like it. Wow. So let's start this way. Who is Rita Queen? Um, I would say um a gospel singer. Um, you know, I've been blessed. I I I see myself as um someone that God has gifted. Um, with songs, and I see I I see my gift that I want to use my gift to bless people using the word of God to inspire people. So I'm just someone who has been blessed by God mm -hmm. to minister His word. That's how I see it. So before before moving to the state. Uh -huh. What, what were you doing in Ghana before you moved to the States? Okay, so I schooled in Ghana. I grew up in Ghana in my hometown. Where, where is that? Um, Akemoda, oh, in the eastern in the region, region of, of Ghana. Ghana. Yes. Um, I went to community health nursing school. Oh, so you were a nurse? Yes, <laughs> before I traveled. Oh. And then um, I won the American Lottery back in 2009. And then everything was processed like around 2010. So I traveled in 2010. I I couldn't work during that time because I was still in school. Mm -hmm. So I traveled right after I finished school to the States. Wow. Yeah. Do you know Kwame Eugene also comes from Akimoto? Yes, wow. I know. <laughs> but but uh, at, at what point in time did you realize that you could sing okay so the singing part has been part of me like for a long time since i was a child and be, anyone who has ever been in school with me will tell you that i loved music mm -hmm. even though at that time it wasn't particularly gospel mm -hmm. but i loved music in general so at like, that time what were you doing what like kind of anything that's called anything that is connected with music you will see me there mm -hmm. So when it comes to entertainment, I'm there. Okay. Like I'm, I play like a big role, mm -hmm. and I used to perform. I used to rap. Wow. I used to dance. Then today you do <laughs> those, some of those raps. <laughs> <laughs> so 
you know, music has always <laughs> been a part of me. Even though at that time I didn't know that I was going to be uh, singing singer, gospel, yeah. but um, then I knew I knew that I had it in me for for a long time now. So, so what changed? Why did you choose gospel and not uh, any other genre? Okay, so that's very easy. <laughs> So, um, since I was a child, you know, I was trained in a Christian home. My mom is a good singer. Actually, my mom has been singing all her life. So, my mom used to take me to choir practice, and then I'll run away, and then she would take me back, I'll run away, and all that stuff. So, it was a back and forth thing. So, when I traveled to the state, I joined my church, which is um, House of Prayer Ministries mm. International. And then I joined the choir. Okay. So after joining the choir, I actually decided to take my Christian life Serious. very seriously. Oh. So I started praying more. You know, I was leading praises and worship. Mm. And then it got to a point, you know, I realized that, oh, okay. I started receiving songs. The inspiration were coming. Mm. Some of them, I'll write them down. Some of them, I'll just record it with my phone. And then um, I think there was around 2013-ish, around that time. So I started writing the songs. I started recording them, just keeping them. Mm. And then um, in 2020, which is the year 2020, um, I decided to record my first song, which is um, He Reigns. And then I released it. In 2020, yeah. Okay. But before moving to the state, how was life like in Ghana? Well, for me, life has always been good because my parents were not all that. I wouldn't say they were okay. They were okay. okay. They were okay. They, you know, they provided me with everything that I needed. I didn't really struggle in Ghana before I traveled. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I had um you know I had an okay life here even though at that time I wasn't really I, I don't think I was prepared to do music at that time so it was okay mm. I had a comfortable life, life. <laughs> yes well then you are fortunate <laughs> you are but it, it, it hasn't been easy for, for for some people yeah I know so you have been so so fortunate yeah and I think we have to thank God for your yes life, for the life of your parents and then your own as well. Yes, we bless God. Moving to the states, let's let's go back to the states. Okay, that is where you reside. Yes. How is life like as an artist, as, and especially a gospel artist? It's actually very hard because. Um, you know, we have Ghanaians in the States, but it's not easy to reach them when mm. it comes to doing music in the States. Okay. It's not easy to reach them because most of them normally look back to Ghana for the songs that they want to listen to. So it's like if you have a song and you want, you want it to reach people in the States, you still have to come back to Ghana. Ghana to do the promotion so that the song can reach them because it's most of them are you know they are spares like mm. mo we are scattered. like scattered everywhere in different states so if i'm living in new jersey as i'm living mm. in new jersey now and i want to reach somebody in um, ohio i want to reach somebody in uh, maryland how am i going to reach that mm. person so and you know when you are like an upcoming artist you don't have the exposure yet mm. so people don't even know what you have they mm. don't even know your personality so you have to still come back to ghana to do your promotion so that people can hear the message that you also want to give to them so it's hard it's not mm. easy i hear most diaspora artists say that uh, it, it's quite difficult when doing something over there because of the distance it is Yes, it's it's. You said it's easy. No, difficult. <laughs> it is difficult. <laughs> it's very difficult. I'm telling you, it is. And you need like really when it like when it comes to you doing something, you need the financial support. Mm. 
And that is where the issue, the problem is. Because it's not easy for you to find people that will be genuinely ready to support you for your vision or what you want to do. Mm. So it's very difficult. Wow. Very, very How was the experience like doing when, when you first entered the music booth, mm. uh, the recording booth to do your song? How was the experience Well, like? in the beginning, it was very exciting. Mm. I was actually very happy because um, I was like, oh, I'm ready to record. <laughs> You know, I didn't know what I was about to face. I didn't know, um, even though I knew I had to promote it, mm-hmm. but I, I then I didn't know the um, the sacrifices mm-hmm. you have to make. I didn't know um, the financial support that I needed. Like, I really didn't know the real deal. Mm-hmm. Well, all that I was thinking about is, oh, this is a beautiful song. I'm going to record it. Well, people will love it. But then I wasn't really thinking about the long run. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, how is this song going to reach mm-hmm. people? So when I realized, oh, you have to do this, you have to, um, you have to take this, you have to do that, you have to call this person, you have to take it to this TV station, and with the money involved, that was when I was like, oh my oh. god, <laughs> this is serious. You didn't consider all those things. Not really, in the beginning, <laughs> not really. I'm just being honest. <laughs> so, so that was when I realized that you know when you look at um some of our uh, gospel musicians mm. and how far they've come that's when i realized that oh my god they've done good wow yeah so yeah and how has the journey been so far uh, we're still pushing <laughs> we're not giving up <laughs> uh. <laughs> we're still pushing so. I, I i i love that mm-hmm. it's good to push you yeah. can't give up now can't give up yeah so let's let's go into your music journey uh you've you've done quite a number of songs yeah. you have quite a number of songs to your credit uh, which one would you say has been uh that the one that has brought you to the limelight um i would say my first song which is he Ooh. reigns because that song i was really able to really push that song mm much more than the rest of my songs i don't know why um i just feel like maybe at that time um the how do i say the zeal yeah. and the <clears throat> the determination okay. was so, so much high, yeah. that i tried so hard that that song should reach more, more people. people so i think he brings i would say yeah okay i hear most artists over there talk about talk talk bad about our, our music producers in Ghana. <laughs> have you had such an experience with any of them actually i have what even really, though i don't want to talk what's about really it the issue I, well i just feel like um you know um i don't know what why mm-hmm. and i don't know how to explain it but I just feel like I don't know how to explain it, but I've 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 actually experienced it. No, I just want to hear <laughs> the experience, know the experience, how how you feel well, when you go to them. When you go to them, not all of them though, because mm-hmm. um I've worked with some of them. Mm-hmm. They are very honest okay. and very genuine that whatever they will tell you they will do it okay, for you okay. any corrections you need they will change it for you and i've also experienced some that you give them your song pay them all their money mm. but you never receive anything wow yes so like i said i've experienced both it's just i feel like it's an experience like um you know you have to go through all those things for you to know how to navigate mm through the industry you know so and i'm somebody i don't like to give pressure to people i don't like to like keep pushing oh i'm then i'll keep calling calling Mm. calling i'll just leave it alone and just move on to another person somebody who'll be ready to help but is it not waste of resources it is but then what what can you do but don't you think we have to do something about if that is the situation can't we take legal actions or 
it because there are no binding contracts between both parties. Well, maybe, maybe, yeah. But then, you know, Africans. No, <laughs> no, I don't want to hear that. But way. you see, you know, sometimes it's, it's a good what experience. Right is right, what is bad is bad. I know, but I sometimes have... it's a good experience to go through such things. And I don't feel like maybe they want to scam you mm. or no, 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 no. That's not how I feel. I just feel like sometimes the workload on them is so much that maybe the time that you need the song, it's not ready. Then if yeah. there's the situation, then is it not proper that they give you the date and time that yeah. it will be ideal for them to yeah. release your, your, your product for well, you? Well, work in progress. <laughs> oh, I I just hope and believe that our producers will do well. Uh, like you said, some of them, some yeah, of them, I know them. some of them are doing very well, very very uh, well. They are always on time. When very you them. very some, very very. <laughs> myself, I know some of them. <laughs> I know some of them, and these are huge 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 <laughs> names in the industry. And sometimes I ask myself. Is is it good for us to be treating our musicians this way? Mm-hmm. I I well. believe we can do better. Let's let's do better because when we do these things, we frustrate them. A human is frustration. Frustration is the door. So let's let's do our best. Why mm-hmm. need reducing frustrations? You know. Yeah. Uh, has there been a point in your life uh, something life? hit you so hard and you tell yourself mm, this thing the uh, some way like when it comes to music life life mm. have you been to that difficult corner well i have but then um i'm someone who is i don't normally you know pull myself down or Mm. you know cry or i always try to encourage myself whatever Mm. be the situation um especially with the word of god because the reason is whether you get to a point in life where you feel like you want to give up Mm. or you are so tired of what life is throwing at you nothing is going to change if you keep being in that same place you have to encourage yourself pick yourself up again and keep going that's how i see it okay pick yourself up keep going <laughs> that's that's wonderful <laughs> that's wonderful you are out with a new song yes how did you receive that song okay so i said da actually I've had that song for quite some time now. And um, I actually got that song when I thought about, you know, all the things that I've been through. You know, when I look at my life and I look at, you know, what is going on in the world, I just feel like God has been faithful to me and my family. Mm. And that is how I said that came about. So I said that is mainly me telling God thank you, you know, letting you know that God can do anything, you know. And when you see me praising my God, don't be offended because mm. I know what God has done for me. Okay. So that is basically it. Okay. Okay. There are many gospel artists all over the world. Yeah. Why did you choose Joyce Blessing? Oh. So, Joyce, actually, she's one of my favorite artists in mm. Ghana, seriously, wow. when it comes to gospel. Okay. The main reason why I like her is her vibe. Oh. The vibe she normally brings in, nice in the song. songs. Like, even if the song is not really moving you, how she would drive the mm. song and all that. That is the main reason why I I like her and you know all her songs are very movable, danceable. So and when I you know after producing um the song, when I listened to it, I was like, okay, 
if I'm going to have somebody on this song, I would want Joyce to be on this song. Oh, wow. So that was why we chose Sister Joyce. And the, how, how the one and only unbreakable. Unbreakable. <laughs> <laughs> only God. <laughs> yeah. So uh welcome to Joyce. How was it like? Well, um, so we didn't actually record together. Okay. I did my side and then she, she did also hers. did her side. But then when I listened to it it was okay. There was nothing wrong with it. Mm. I, I really actually liked how she managed to the, do her to, own. Yeah, to do her own. So everything was okay. Mm. Yeah. Let's come to marketization. Mm. How difficult is it when promoting your song? Huh. <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> Tell me. I want to know about it. <laughs> so when it comes to bloggers, oh my God. Okay, so like I said, it mm. all comes back to financial support. Mm. It's everything is money, money, money. Cause and the reason why I don't blame them or you know when it comes to promotion mm. is because that is what the person also does yeah. to provide. Yeah. But then, you know, sometimes I just feel like, okay, if we're going to pay you to do something, make sure you're doing it. Okay. That is my only... I was going to come to that. that yeah. Has there been a, a time in your life that you, you, you gave a media person or a blogger some money to do something for you? Actually, and you to do it? Uh, quite just a few. Mm. And it wasn't so much of a big deal, just a few. But then I know that a lot of um, musicians, especially in the USA, mm. they've had similar Experience issues too. Is okay. Whereby, you know, maybe a promotion is supposed to go for a month, mm -hmm. but then it runs for maybe a week or mm. two weeks and then it's done. But then, like I said, um, with me, mm, quite a few. Okay. Not, not really so much, okay. I would say. Do you think the industry has accepted you enough? I don't think um when you say accepted mm. um maybe I will As have in to embracing you okay and your so what I'm thinking is um it's like when you don't know me, mm. there's no way you can embrace me. Do you get what I mean yeah. so well, what I think is um you know uh, a way for me to get the exposure. Mm. I want because if they don't know you, what are they embracing? What are they accepting? Yeah. So you just, I'm just, you know, we're trying to think of a way whereby your music reach a lot of people mm. for them to know who you are, for them to be able to accept and embrace you as, as a gospel artist. So that's all that I think it is. I just feel like when people get to know you, they'll be able to accept you they'll be able to accept the message that you are bringing. Okay. That's what I think. If there is any one change you want to see in the music space, what would that be? Change, change, change. Hmm. Just support each other. Mm. Help each other. You, you know? think there's no, there's no support, there's no unity? Oh, mm -hmm. not really. Not really. I just feel like, you know, when we support each other genuinely mm. you know it projects more you know than um i'm not saying there's no support no that's not what i mean okay. but then i'm just saying that if we keep supporting each other mm. whereby somebody needs help you 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 can help you always there maybe um, um a gospel minister reaches out to you that hey um can you help me in this aspect mm. and you can do it you do it you know, that's that's all I think. Um, that is the only change that would be able to actually take Ghanaian gospel to a global stage. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, many many also say as I've I've had this conversation with uh, some of the diasporans and okay. uh, they 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 complain. <laughs> it it actually they are complaining. I don't know about you. They complain that uh, the help or the assistance we give to the artists who are based here is more than what we offer you the diaspora. I don't know about you. 
Wait, okay, Is so you gospel? mean the support uh, yes. that um the gospel musicians yes. get here? Okay. Hmm. Well, I really don't think so. The main reason why I don't think so is because most of the people here who are supposed to help, mm. sometimes they don't know us. Mm. Okay, because when you're an artist here, you are based in Ghana. If you need support from anybody, you go to them. Yeah. But with us, because we are not here, if you mm. need support from anybody, you call them, call them. you text them. They don't know you. <laughs> So they treat it as a business. Mm. Do you get what yeah, I mean? I but then when the person gets to see you, meet you, know your personality, then there's a, a, a better relationship mm. yeah. than just, um, you know, telephone calls and text messages. So that's how I see it. I just feel like, you know, the relationship is not really yeah. there. So it's like a, a business yeah, transaction kind of between two people. Yeah. That's, that's how I see it. Okay. Yeah. You know you can't come here without singing the new song. <laughs> <laughs> so at this time I'll just leave you to, and then this is your camera. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is the song. Me da mi nyami asia obi ti asia. Mi yi mi nyami ya obi ti asia. She Mane su su se e be be mama mio mi da mi ya mi asia e ya si dankwa Mane su su se e be be mama mio mi da mi ya mi asia e ya si dankwa So it's all about praises. <laughs> yes. It's all about praises. <laughs> you heard her eh uh, Rita mm -hmm. Queen all the way from Joe Biden's <laughs> <laughs> you keep saying job. <laughs> you're on your way this country. <laughs> so all the way from America, and then she's we are we are privileged to have her in the studio today. Yeah. Rita Queen, thank you so much for for coming. We thank really you appreciate too. Your you're welcome. Today. Yeah. Thank any you. any final message you want me to uh, um, put out there? I just want to say that you know God is good. Mm -hmm. And God is real, mm. and we have to take the message of God seriously. So if you hear any gospel song that is portraying the goodness of God, just share it to somebody, because you never know what that message might do for the person mm. that you are sharing it to. Mm. That's all I want to say. Thank you. <laughs> we are in an election year in Ghana. Hi. And... <laughs> <laughs> When 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 it comes to elections in mm -hmm. Africa, oh, don't go there. We we can't finish talking about it. Mm -hmm. What message? What encouraging message? Uh, are you telling the youth, especially who want to go uh, into this December election? Any particular well, message you want to hmm. say to them? I don't know how I I'm supposed to answer that because I'm not like uh. Someone who is re very good when it comes to politics. politics. Yes, but this is just an advice. Okay, I just feel like, you know, when when it comes to politics, we should always look at what is good for the country. country. Okay. You know, um, I'm actually, I don't think that there's a good person and there's a bad person. Mm. We just have to pray that God should actually select Right who would change things for our country that's that's all that i'll say we should just pray because <laughs> okay. at this point ghana we need prayers yeah <laughs> that is true that is true thank you so much so You're if welcome. someone wants to follow you on social media what are your handles okay all my handles is Rida queen music everywhere okay. instagram facebook youtube tiktok the new one thread, thread. or whatever <laughs> yeah Rita Queen music everywhere, so it's very easy to find me. Rita, yes. Thank you so much. For You're coming. welcome. Really appreciate your time. Thank you. All right, folks. So this is where time will permit us to bring our interview with Rita Queen today on chat with Sir. My name is Isaac, and this has been Hypes Media's feed. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and 
don't also forget to press the bell notification so that anytime we upload a new video you also get a chance to do the watching and listening right here in the studio of Hypes media with us i'll see you again in another episode but before we go always know that i love you but one thing you must never forget is that christ loves you more than i do see you soon bye bye bye